How does precious wood from the Mayan jungle end up in Asia? The answer lies deep in the rainforest, in nature reserves, straddling the border between Guatemala and Mexico. There, an international timber mafia with ties to Asia is illegally extracting a highly coveted wood, granadillo, used for luxury car parts, yachts, musical instruments, and more. But how does the extraction work? First, the Mafia uses intermediaries in Mexico to recruit local residents from nearby communities, paid to find and mark Granadillo trees deep in the nature reserves. Other locals then enter the jungle on motorbikes, felling the marked trees and chopping the trunks into rough logs. When there's enough wood, the locals carve a path through the jungle to reach the timber, sometimes bulldozing multiple kilometers of forest just to reach a single stash. Modified pickup trucks then use the paths to collect the timber and drive it out of the jungle, reaching nearby communities where the wood is stored and prepared for export. Here begins a process known as wood laundering, whereby the Mafia uses sawmills to modify the granadillo logs and pass them off as a different species with fewer restrictions on commercial use. This trick allows the Mafia to obtain legal permits for export, a task that often requires the help of corrupt officials or the collusion of local communities with quotas for extracting commercial wood. With the papers in order, freight trucks drive the Granadillo north to ports on Mexico's Caribbean coast, where lenient customs checks do little to prevent the timber from being shipped around the world. Asia is the Mafia's main market, where selling illegally sourced wood to legitimate buyers generates millions in profits. Meanwhile, back in Guatemala and Mexico, understaffed and underfunded park rangers risk their lives in the jungle by confronting the Mafia, often to little avail. Don't miss Insight Crime's latest investigation on the Mafia's operations and the challenges faced by park guards on both sides of the border.